Right, IAS 8. IAS 8 is a, tends to come up, well, when I say tends to come up, I, it's something I see now and then. Um, and it looks at three areas, um, fundamentally. It looks at um, accounting policies, accounting estimates, and errors. When we talk about accounting policies, going straight to the point, we're really talking about bases, if you like, organizations decide how they intend on measuring things. So whether we're talking about fair value, historical cost, we're talking about measurement bases, really, AVCO, FIFO. So organizations will decide. And the fundamental argument for comparability, as you can imagine, is that when you decide to change your base, you should retrospectively go back, if you like, and change everything prior to, to, to that year. So we're really talking about the opening balance. Really, when we say talk about changing, we mean to look at the opening balance of the affected um, component of equity. So just go back and basically change the opening balances of the equity so that we can compare from one year um, to the next. As far as accounting estimates, well, and that's and that's the first thing. Now, again, I'll talk about the conditions. The problem, of course, the question here is this issue of being retrospective. It is sometimes costly, and there is a question of materiality. So the framework does kind of lean in there to highlight that this will determine a lot as to whether or not. And because you have a lot of typically... <coughs> Excuse me. When the when there's a new standard and the standard requires this sort of change, um, remember the standard is not law. So the question here is: people are refused, directors refuse to actually implement those standards because um, because it's costly and it, it is a time time value, so to speak. Is it worth it? Um, when we look at accounting estimates, we are looking at things like depreciation, but the provision, warranty provision. So all of these, if you like, are really done as we go along. So these are all prospective changes. Um, that take place. And then errors as well, retrospective. But again, I highlight the point here. The conceptual framework asks us to look at the relevance of these of these movements. Is the change material? Will it affect the user? And when we think of it that way, then we have some leeway. Um, so <clears throat> the Again, the exposure draft, something you might see, asks us to, yes, to implement retrospectively, unless, of course, it is impractical and the cost exceeds the, the benefit. So typically, like I said, a change in standard will lead to a change in policy, costly and time-consuming, and not applied, even though useful. So this is some of the problems. Um, and apparently, there's also criticism that retrospective adjustment, as you can imagine, can lead to earnings management. Um, so that's one other um, criticism. So, but um, yeah, and that is if you um, that is how we deal with IAS eight, the three key areas. Be very comfortable with them, and um, and be able to discuss them from that point of view of, of relevance with regards to the conceptual framework.